Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, we are driving into Santa Cruz. And this area, it's not going to be part of the new highway that's going between Williamsfield and Hodges. So, this area is going to suffer like how Porus and Clarendon Park is suffering because the highway is going to the left of where we are, going up the hill into Junction. It's not coming on this side. I don't think they're going to have any way of connecting this, say Santa Cruz, to the highway unless they build a special road. Now this is a very serious issue because Santa Cruz is the largest town in St. Elizabeth. It's the busiest town you drive through the town, you would think Santa Cruz is the capital of St. Elizabeth, but it's not, it's Black River. Now, Black River will be a part of the highway alignment, so with Junction, Mandeville, highway basically goes to the left of Santa, of Spur Tree. So all those areas, Treasure Beach, will do extremely well. But this side now, is some serious people, I mean, there are some concerns because Let's just put it in perspective for you. A highway was built from Maypen to Williamsville. There is no exit for Clarendon Park and no exit for Porus. And those areas are suffering. They're literally destroyed. They're like ghost towns now because everybody's using the highway. And to make matters worse, the highway is free. Free! So who's going to drive on those bad rewinding roads when you have a highway to drive on? But it's just, to put it in perspective, what will happen to Santa Cruz when you have a highway that can bypass the town of Santa Cruz, meaning you no longer have to use this road, you can take the highway that takes you by Junction back down to Black River. No more would you be driving through Santa Cruz, the busiest town in St. Elizabeth. Could very well become a ghost town. Now that will be really tragic because there are a lot of business places in Santa Cruz. As I said, it's the busiest town in St. Elizabeth. And it's something that I am hope the people that are building, well, no, the people building the highway wouldn't care because they have made not one announcement, nothing. The government has said nothing. Enrock has said nothing about helping the people in Porus or Clarendon Park. So, NROC will be building a highway. Their job is not to help Santa Cruz. Their job is to build a highway. I don't know what the government is going to do, but I think the best solution would be, and whatever the cost is, it is, you have a road going from the highway to Santa Cruz somewhere, and make it free. You don't make that road be a part of the toll structure. Like you have the Melrose Hill Bypass, which is five kilometers and it's free. But you cannot afford a town the size of Santa Cruz to become a ghost town. It's just not right. Santa Cruz is probably bigger than Black River right now. It definitely has more activity. So guys, let me know what you think because Santa Cruz is going to become a big loser when that highway opens. It doesn't matter what the toll rate is. Now, the people in Porus and Clarendon Park are hoping that when they start to charge toll on the highway, which will be January 2024, some of the traffic will return to the area. But no consideration was given for Porus or Clarendon Park when they decided to make that highway free for almost four months. September, October, November, December. Four months, three and a half months. No consideration was given to the people of Clarendon Park and Porus. And I believe the same thing is going to happen to Santa Cruz. The exact same thing is going to happen to Santa Cruz when they open the new highway. They are not going to give any consideration to the economic effect of the highway on Santa Cruz because that's not their job really. Their job is just to build a highway and they have chosen that path. Now the original alignment of this highway had it going more towards Santa Cruz through Balaclava, that side, but not this new alignment that they're doing. They have it going more to the coast because something I've noticed is all the highways that 
are going to be built in Jamaica from today forward all go the route of the tourist industry. The one to Negril tourism, the one from Hodges to Montego Bay tourism. Maybe it's a coincidence, maybe it's just that this side of the island is tourist, tourism, but so we're driving into Santa Cruz now and we seriously have to wonder what's going to happen to this area in a few years. And it's going to be five years. The new highway should open in five years. Let's give it six tops, between five and six years. And based on what has happened to Clarendon Park and Poros, some serious thought has to be given as to what's going to happen to Santa Cruz. We're driving into the town now. We can see how busy Santa Cruz is, how developed it is. Alright guys, thanks for taking the tour with us today. Leave your comments in the section below. Let us know what you think. Alright guys, have a good day.